and we are on. We are on one more time. Episode 11. After... Episode 11, but it has been around like 13 appearances or something yeah, like that. So it's like... Yes. We so yeah, we, <laughs> we're still surviving here. We still upload. We still have uh, have things to say, and we still thank to uh, the people who watch us or listen to us and try to cope with these crazy ideas. Um, so uh, once again, uh, we are uh, Giovanni and me, uh, Perna, as you say it for some reason. Not fair. Perna. Uh, so we are here like trying to have a couple conversations. Um, we try to, yeah, we try to bring some, add up another voice into the whole, whole thing of noise that we have when we are consuming information or we are having to expose ourselves to certain things. Um, here we have the intent to give our takes on the things that we can try to do uh, in order to be better at consuming information and also how to handle it emotionally. Uh, it is to say that we are not experts, um, we are not psychologists, and because we usually work with uh, with examples based on an article or, or something that we read that we are interested. Uh, we might not be the best uh, or to nail certain things in a given topic, but we try to give our best. We try to give something that it can be productive for everybody uh, and also universal, as universal as possible, as and as timeless as possible. But if we miss uh, some good examples of if we get a concept incorrectly, um, we are always welcoming feedback and, and comments. So just keep it coming. So uh, in our officially eleven episode, yeah, uh, Joanne is so going to take charge of him, and he's going to talk about emotions, feelings, and emotions okay. naming identification, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. okay, well, the idea, like as we were talking uh, some some days ago, uh, I bumped into that article that you can see uh, in the background. Um, which is trying to name, to identify uh, certain feelings and emotions that people have had during the pandemic. I okay. mean, I guess most of us had uh, different feelings going on, some feelings mm -hmm. that never experienced before. Um, and sometimes we, me myself as well, uh, didn't actually... Uh, understand how to name them, I mean, how to identify that. Mm -hmm. so okay. That, that's the point, and that's we will see it later on, but first, uh -huh. I think Ferna has something to show us. Okay, so, yeah, sure. So, we tried to bring a couple articles that uh, were interesting in, in the week or, or things like that. <laughs> I just need to I mean, do the whole mess. Interesting because... might not be the best. Word. Yes, it is interesting. Uh, so I'm doing the whole manually because I am a mess. Mm -hmm. So actually this one, yeah, as controversial as it sounds, I'm not going to obviously deal with this. But the thing is that I was listening to the podcast, a very good podcast, right? The Intelligence from The mm -hmm. Economist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, they were talking about how this whole debacle, uh, whole debate, uh started like back in 2008 or something like that yes the italians started complaining they once from uh what's the name of the region i guess from uh from campania from naples Nap naples i think yeah, yeah. so yeah. yeah so they actually did like the actual complaint of of the whole thing right but uh Later on, it was catch up by the internet, and then the whole debate intensified. But to be entirely honest, actually, I should have a change over here. To be entirely honest, as I do remember it, that this was only a meme, you know, like mm -hmm. the whole thing. It was not actual serious. It was a meme, but it turns out that eventually. <laughs> It got hit up, you know? 
it has gotten hit up especially now is really visible nowadays because apparently people need to have a side and need to have some kind of uh, uh i don't know belonging to a tribe or or whatever mm -hmm. so now it's got ridiculous and it's funny it was interesting because it's not the only phenomenon where this has happened that there's this meme that later on is taken uh way too serious um so yeah so that's why i like this this not necessarily the article but the episode in the podcast right mm -hmm. the second yeah, I article we, i think we so, heard the same, the same do the you same, hear it uh, the same podcast yeah and mm -hmm. and uh and, and, and what do you think but yeah i mean it is something that i mean as an italian i i listen to it Every every once in a while it comes out and people mm -hmm. start complaining. Blah 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 blah. I mean, sure, sure. Wh whether it's pineapple or whether it's mayonnaise or ketchup on, on, on pizza, I mean everything that is that surrounds pizza is something like, something like a third world war. I mean, <laughs> and well, I just said um, I think we have we ourselves have some some border okay uh, mm -hmm. that we need to maintain uh, compact and cannot uh, overpass them because unless we will try we, we will end up um, look it's, ruining I think, our our belongings yeah okay. i mean i think it's yeah, so. th there is a part of sure you can be sort of that this this specific thing got out of hand for, in, for my taste yeah i mean yeah. i mean it, it's just yeah. Is a certain kind of pride that, to be honest, I really don't understand. But that's just my my my, my opinion. Uh, mm -hmm. Speaking in a personal view, I really don't understand this okay. kind of pride. But well, well let me go yeah. ahead then, and and then don't make you that think about that too much, and go to my second <laughs> article. This one. So what the fuck is it? What the fuck is it? I love this. I love this. So for whoever doesn't know, so there's this very important in terms of technological and legal kind of thing um, case between Epic Games and App, right? And, I'm sorry, I can't laugh. I'm and he, he, here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. And I'm and I'm sorry. I'm 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 just going to stop sharing because apparently our faces are not in the. In the, yeah, but it's fine. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's much no, more interesting it's... watching watching that banana. <laughs> so yeah, let me just tell you what mm -hmm. happened there. The only reason the, the only reason why I knew about this is because I was uh, watching uh, something some some guys and they read the transcript during that session. Mm -hmm. Like you have you seen in the movies how the the lawyers they they question the person in, in the podium and and all the seriousness about murders and that kind of thing mm -hmm. all this judging well imagine that the Apple lawyer mm -hmm. is making questions very seriously about you have this game with this character, right? Yes. And it has clothes. Is that correct? Yes. But you also have a, a, a version where, where he's not wearing clothes, right? Yes. And it's a banana. Yes. So if we remove the clothes, is there something indecent or inappropriate to see? It is impressively mind-blowing the things that are being discussed in that case and to think about these people for sure those lawyers are getting millions on, on, on all of that it was so ridiculous that is impressive and fascinating about because apple apparently has this puritanical uh view of things that you should not have to you you should they, they don't have like pornography or very indecent kind of stuff and they are discussing this kind of 
ridiculousness is i was like yeah it's it's incredible so that's the whole thing it's a fortnight mm -hmm. it's a fortnight character mean, we we cannot we cannot post anymore in our life uh a peeled banana okay so you just have to put it with all the yeah it is it is horrible no yeah it was ridiculous but anyway here we are here we are trying to get trying to get 100 views while those people yeah. are getting millions talking about the indecency <laughs> the, the indecency of a, of a banana, banana. <laughs> oh my God. but anyway so anyway. let's go ahead and now and get into the business yeah. and tell us what's the, all this thing called languishing yeah. languishing languishing yeah so what happened is uh as i was saying before we all had uh, kind of feelings going on during the pandemic me myself as well and i had so i will go a bit personal now i had this thing feeling of uh feeling a bit apathetic okay with the relationship the fact that I didn't have, um, let's say, a time objective. So I couldn't sit down and see, I can meet this person uh, at this time. I can organize and meet this friend at this time. Blah, blah, blah. So everything was getting a bit more, uh, it was getting frustrating and it was getting a bit more uh, apathetic. Um, but I guess it wasn't the, the proper way of defining it and some days ago i bumped into this article uh, from the new york times i guess uh, which says feeling blood during the pandemic it's called languishing so languishing uh, that's how they they called uh, this feeling of not feeling motivated on facing given situations so in my case perhaps were relationships in some other cases, it might be work or training or whatever. And so they, they made up this, um, this word that is languishing. It, it's not, it, it has not been created with, with the pandemic, for sure. It was before. But uh, they found a way to define certain feelings and emotions. So I will not focus on, I mean, in the articles, the, if I'm not wrong, it's a psychologist that, that wrote the article and they will go on and defining what languishing is and how to tackle it so to find a solution not to feel languishing anymore. So I will not go into the, the solution because it's not of my, not of my nothing of, of my field. Um, and I want to focus a bit more on the fact of giving a certain name to feelings and emotions. So, because what it says, and I agree partially in the, in the article, is that when you, when you are feeling something or you are having an emotion, either it's good or bad, it's very important to, to give a name to it. Because it will, you will identify it and you will, I mean, you need to you need to name the the problem in order to to find a solution, which I I must say I agree on that because if you don't know what the problem is, how can you understand what the what the solution could be? But at the same time, as we were uh, saying, uh, we were talking yesterday. Uh, there is this the the other uh, the other side of the coin which is <clears throat> once you, you have the, the, the problem, you might end up um, falling in the trap of having this kind of comfortable victimization of yourself, right? So once you have the problem, you will have an excuse to keep uh, being in the comfort zone of, of acting as you are acting just because you have you, you have named the problem, you could say, okay, uh, I have this, so I am excused to act that way. So there might be, I mean, there should be a balance on these two things. Um, it's good to, to name feelings and emotions, but at the same time, 
it can create this trap of feeling comfortable of being like um, under that and use that naming as a as a way of excusing your your action. So I would like to just let's have a talk on that uh, and then move on 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 the topic. What do you think about that? Well, so I think it's in, in just in the sense of defining, creating a concept for um, for something. It helps. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot tackle, you cannot approach something if you don't know what it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's the part that I see in terms of like, we need to define this thing, right? And it's useful for you because once the devil has the name, now you can start planning what to do. In terms of uh, the article talking about, because it talks about the transition, right? Like mm -hmm. everybody was uh, was in the, in in fight fight fly uh, or fright right mode at the beginning of the pandemic, but after that wears off, you enter to the other stages. Yeah. So that was really important. Uh, and that's where all this thing that even you say you you have been having like like this kind of apathy like uh, mm -hmm. situation, right? Or languish, uh, languishing. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm saying that right. Uh, apparently, right. So it is important because you cannot treat apathy and whatever this is in the same fashion. The reason why you cannot treat apathy or or indifference or or depression uh, or languishing or whatever um in the same fashion is because they might have a different origin and you need to tackle the origin it's a little bit out of topic but there is a reason why you need to define while controversial it can be controversial, you need to define the type of violence that you have in a certain place. If you see it, violence against these type of people, it has its use. Why? Because you need to understand why is it specifically to these type of people. If it's uh, violence because economics, well, then is another reason. So naming, identifying is important because that should be the that should set the the the, the ground mm -hmm. to approach on where solutions, to start. right? Yeah, on where to start. That's the starting point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, in my opinion, or what I have perceived, is that if you give an exit to the people, they will take the exit, and we as people, we actually are made we are supposed or we evolve to withstand to withstand um hard times threats mm -hmm. yeah we are not supposed to be in a very uncomfortable zones we are not supposed to be in, in in mattresses for example or in cozy places yeah because that will make us weak Mm -hmm. but that's just like the basic part, the animal part, or whatever you call it, right? Um, now, this reflected into the more complex part of the psychological part. I think I am under the, the opinion that people seem to be using concepts to justify behavior but not taking actual action or accountability of their actions. Yeah. So right now I perfectly would see someone uh, saying like, oh, I am like, oh, are, are you the person? Yeah. No, it's because I'm just languishing. And, then, and that's it. And then you make a joke and then you mm -hmm. forget about it instead of actual tackling the thing. So at, at the end, all these naming things 
sounds more like or looks more to me like let's create a concept so we can justify it ourselves yeah 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 so it is kind of dangerous it, it is has it, its use it is but it's also kind of dangerous yeah it has to be balanced and it has to be honest not balanced well honest yeah because defining the issue is fine how but people honestly, okay yeah this is sorry no no yeah, how no. people what people do with the concept that is the part of where you need to be more like honest you need to be accountable you need to be all those kind of stuff yes i mean honest yes for sure for sure i was uh was not talking about the person that let's say suffer of in this case languishing i was thinking about the a uh, uh, right balance of creating like naming and tackling it so it's not about the person of course the, mm -hmm. the person has to be on, but i mean I think in some in some cases um, it all comes up with uh, with complaining. Like as long as you, you are feeling a language and you don't complain about that, I mean you are good with that. Fine, do what whatever you want with that. But mm -hmm. as soon as you start complaining and and you don't take action to tackle it. That's where the problem starts, in my opinion. Because mm -hmm. it's there when you exit your your self bubble, okay, and you start interacting with or with other people. Because if you complain with other people that you're feeling languishing, and you don't do anything about that, that's where the pro your your problem will start involving also other people. So this kind of self, it, it turns out to be a, a kind of selfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. and and unfortunately, you have a lot of self-centered promoting ideologies, mm -hmm. like self-love, self-care, self this, self, self that. So, because we live in actual, like, in the moment of our time, like, like where you have all this kind of stuff, it Society is... of right. Yeah. It's kind of complicated sometimes. Like, like at least, at least for me, for me to think, like, a moment, a moment ago, I was saying, like, like it's about the, uh, being honest with one's self. Yeah. Uh, with that... I I do mean the part about like, okay, so you're telling me or it seems that I have this thing. Fine. How do I solve this? And I need to be 100% honest with this, right? Uh, and that amount of accountability, I don't see it massively. Yeah. Um, I see people very well um, I forgot what was the word, but very comfortable by just the complaining part that you are that, that you are talking about, right? Um, so at the end, all these naming things seems not to have an actual use. Yeah. Um, one time I was talking with my family and they were talking about whatever problem and the solution to the problem it was really easy but they wanted to have another approach because the approach that i was suggesting it will expose themselves or better yet i'll give you a fantastic and very common example how do you get six app six packed apps Everybody well, will try to sell you a magic pill and that kind of stuff, right? The solution is really easy, right? But you don't want to do it because it creates uncomfortable, uh, uh, it will create an uncomfortable situation and it makes you accountable. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, the thing is, um, it's always comfortable feeling a bit thin in some cases, right? Yes. I mean, when you, when you, and, what I, what I mean when I say feeling a victim is that you have people caring about you. You have 
as I said, an excuse to be in, in that way at that certain moment and people will understand why you are like that and will not judge you and will accept that and will care about that. Mm -hmm. And so I think what can come to, to many people's mind is that why should I exit this comfort zone when I receive all the love that I, that I want uh, in, this, in this given situation? Yes. So, okay. and, and here it comes to, uh, to the, I don't know, another part, uh, maybe kind of conclusion that I wanted to, to take on, uh, mm -hmm. which is, um, so given that you are now seeing yourself, let's see, let's relate it to the pandemic, but it can be in any other uh, situation. You are seeing yourself in a, in, in a situation that you have never been before, with new feelings and new emotions, mm -hmm. and you might not like it. Mm -hmm. So, you, uh, as we are saying, you should take a lead and, and face it and try to find a solution. Mm -hmm. But there might be cases, for example, uh, it, happened, it, it happened to me also during this pandemic, uh, how I, I, I faced certain relationships that I was doing in a different way before the pandemic. Now with this, kind of languishing, I started facing some of them differently and I don't want to go back. I mean, I like it more as uh, I am acting right now. Mm -hmm. So what, what, what I want to say with this is that it's not only that uh, if, he, if you are in a, in a given situation which is 100% uh, bad, which is, for example, the pandemic, it doesn't mean that you always have to, to go back as it was before that. Okay. Ah, okay. You really, That's a good one. you really have to to take a break. Think things have been changing. I am changing. How I face things are, are changing. Do do I really want to to go back to how I was, or there are something that there is something that I want to keep as I'm doing now? Because that's very important. I mean, generally, when we have a a, a difficult situation, we just want to delete it. Mm -hmm. We just don't want to remove everything that changed in us and to and to bring it back to to where how it was, but perhaps not always that is the the, the best solution so mm -hmm. that, okay. that was yeah okay, so then in then summary have... in summary uh -huh. it's important to have a definition for our situations, right. Mm -hmm. It's important that we are accountable for the solutions and we are honest that the next step after identifying the issue, we need to tackle solutions, right? Exactly. Yeah. And also, very importantly, do not expect to be the same thing as before. Yeah. I think those are like really, really tricky parts in, in, in all of this, in, in, in any uh, psychological kind of stuff, uh, issues and that kind of thing. But for me, that would so, be the summary. I don't know if you want to yeah, say... Yeah, I mean, I mean, the last thing I want to say is that we have to, to understand that um, we are constantly moving. Mm -hmm. Our person is constantly moving. So we might have an idea in our mind that we have to be in a certain way, but if we are moving, perhaps it's not right to uh, to not go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's very important to see and to understand when you are moving and see if it's the right path or not. But still, we have to keep moving. So. Yeah, and okay. I mean you, you, you forgot the four the four thing in summary. What? Drink water. A lot of water. Yeah, I drink water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's important. That was everything for the for lemon this. heavy flood we are on. <laughs> Fair enough. So once again. Thank you uh, to whoever is uh, listening to us. Please subscribe, subscribe, like, give us a comment, uh, 
uh, you can call names in the comments to Giovanni. He has no problem. Um, he will give 100 euros to the best insult that he can get. So it's fantastic. Yeah, just send me your IBAN. Yeah, sure, exactly. And so we are, thank you for all of you and we'll see us next week, Soon. which this is the last time I'm going to be here. So let's see how it's going to look. Because we are moving. Because we are moving. <laughs> we are so moving. Up, until that, we were, we were on. on. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>